Okay, okay, I know practically everyone and their mom has made an artist problems video, but I hope you find it entertaining nonetheless. You might think that this is some first world problem crap, and yeah, you're right. As artists though, we tend to have a lot of similar things that we struggle with, so hopefully someone can relate to at least one of these things. Number 1. When people watch me draw. I really don't know why this bothers me so much, but whenever someone is watching me draw, my skill just instantly decreases by 100% for some reason. And then whoever is watching you just thinks that you suck at drawing. And it's even worse when you can tell that they're looking at your drawing, but they're trying not to make it obvious that they're looking at your drawing, but you still know that they're looking at your drawing. Like, dude, can you just stop looking at me while I draw? I don't understand why this makes me so annoyed. It's just kind of weird to silently stare at someone while they draw, I guess. Number two, the infamous art block. Art block is this cool thing when basically your brain feels at a loss for any kind of creativity whatsoever, so you just stare at the blank and empty canvas and you just try to muster any kind of decent looking drawing, but it turns out like crap, so then you feel like crap. One time, I even had an art block for a whole year, so lucky me, right? If you're struggling with one of these yourself, then I recommend either taking a break or trying to draw something that's outside of your comfort zone or maybe using some different materials. This next one happened to me more when I was a kid because I don't really draw in public anymore, but when I did, there would always be someone saying something along the lines of, Oh wow, that's really good. Oh really? Thanks. Here it comes. I was wondering, can you draw me? <laughs> nope. I mean, do people really expect us to just drop whatever we're doing and to just draw them for free nonetheless? I mean, imagine you walk into a restaurant and you say, Wow, that food looks really good. Can you make me a dish for free? You would instantly be kicked out and probably banned for good measure. Number four is when you flip your canvas and then it actually turns out that you created an abomination. This one is more common with digital artists, but there is actually a way to flip your art traditionally too. All you have to do is hold your art up to a mirror and congratulations, you too can now see how terrible your art really is. In all seriousness, this is actually a pretty good way to improve your art and to make sure that your drawing looks good from both sides. But it is pretty annoying when you spend hours on a piece and you forget to flip the canvas until the end, and when you do, it just turns into the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. Another problem that's pretty common with digital artists is when you're actually drawing something traditionally on a paper or painting on a canvas or whatever, and you make a mistake, and then you do the undo motion with your hands. What a fool I am. I guess this is an example of something that I have control over and not necessarily a major problem, but it's just interesting that my brain always reverts back to using the undo button because I do so much digital art. But it makes me feel like a fool every single time that I accidentally do it. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully someone can relate to one of these. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to tell me what I can do to improve it. And if you guys have any other suggestions on what videos you want to see, then please let me know in the comments.